Hello everybody, today I'm going to be sharing with you what is my favorite household go-to product. Now you probably already have this and if you don't I suggest that you go and get it. Not only is it helpful in first aid circumstances but it is also good to have around the house if you are wanting to deal with daily issues of the teenage life aka acne. Here is my best friend hydrogen peroxide. Now, I don't know how many of you watched my other channel, or my and my roommate's other channel, 28 Reasons, but in it, we discussed a little bit in the Coca-Cola opening video on accident why I like hydrogen peroxide. Now, there is the well-known fact of hydrogen peroxide that it is good for cuts and stuff, and it cleans out blood. Yes, but I've also heard it true that it is also bad because it prevents the white blood cells from like sticking together and all this other scientific -y stuff that I don't really pay attention to. I still use it on my cuts and bruises, so whatever. Um, what I'm here to talk about is that other benefits to it. One of them being, it can also help whiten your teeth. <laughs> now that sounds probably really disgusting for you who have never heard of that before, who don't do it now. Um, putting hydrogen peroxide in your mouth, isn't that a little bit dangerous? Yes. Yes, it is. <laughs> That's only if you swallow it. I here's, agree with whatever she's saying. Here's Haley. Um, Sorry. How was class? It was good. Yeah, we're just going to talk about that for a little bit. <laughs> Anyways, talking about hydrogen peroxide. Yes, it's really, really dangerous if you swallow it, so don't swallow it. Um, what you do is that you go through brushing your teeth. Yes. And then when you you're done with that and you have all the toothpaste out of your mouth and you just put and you just stick it in your mouth and you gurgle it you swish it around whatever you do instead of mouthwash for a couple seconds and then it starts getting all foamy and it sticks to your teeth which is really gross but then you spit it out and you can like rinse it out with water or like your other um, mouthwash whatever anything but make sure it's all out but it just sticks to all what's ever on there. And if you're a soda drinker like me, hey, you know, you gotta get rid of those stained teeth. But yeah, that's a neat, that's a neat trick. This is a good teeth whitener. Another um, tip for hydrogen peroxide, if you don't wanna use it for first aid or teeth whitening, which I don't understand why you wouldn't because I think those things are awesome. But another way you can use it is getting rid of acne. Um, how does that happen, Sam? Well, I'm here to tell you. Um, I actually just wanted to see what it would happen. Like, I tried this out like two years ago. I'm really just into like, my curiosity takes over me and I'm just like into trying new things that nobody would probably do in general. So I was like, hey, you know, hydrogen peroxide's good for cuts and stuff. So what if I have a zit and it kind of popped and I just put it on there. Well, I did that and I woke up the next morning, it was completely gone. It was almost like um, my big frat Greek wedding gone. Like it was huge, woke up, I don't know where it went. Went into zit universe somewhere out there. But yeah, you put it on a cotton ball and then you just dab a little bit on there and then you sleep with it. I don't know what happens to it it cleans it out, dries it out, I don't know the scientificness of it, but it it works. So there you go. If you have a really big zit and it happens to pop, just put a little bit on there. And I think it gets rid of the oil and all like it cleans out the pore. So if you want to put it all over your face, go for that. Try it out. Let me know how that turns out. But don't leave it in on all night. If you're gonna do it all over your face, I think that's a little bit dangerous. Um, just leave it on for like five minutes and then wash your face. Um, but yeah, there's a little, there's a little bit of knowledge for you. Um, for you teenagers or whatever age you are, if you like to color your hair, um, here's another tip for you. Instead of going to a professional to go pay money and all that sorts of stuff to get your hair lightened. This is bleach, basically, for your hair. If it can whiten your teeth, it can whiten your hair. 
that came out really weird. But yeah, not like old lady status. It's actually pretty good about um, enhancing your highlights. Um, this is something I do. I know you can't really see it on the camera, but I have really, really, really dark hair if you haven't noticed already. It's almost black. Um, but I did a little bit of research and a lot of bleaches that um, hairstylists use today have peroxide already in them. So why not just go right to the source, hydrogen peroxide, and this is only 3%, so it's not going to be bad for your hair. Um, what you do is that you take a little bit, you take a cotton ball, or you can have a spray bottle, I've heard of that too, um, and then you just apply it to your hair. Make sure it's like soaked and then just like take strands, section it off, bleach it, and just keep it in the dark because hydrogen peroxide doesn't like the light, so, and keep it warm. Um, I don't know, put a towel over your head, um, something to like hold in the heat and keep it dark and nice for it. And when you're ready, then take it off and enjoy the highlights. Um, for people who have really, really dark hair like me, it's going to take a couple tries. Now, what I suggest is that you only do hour increments, maybe like, I don't know, every other day, do it only for an hour. Um, if you have really dark hair like me. If you have really fair hair, then you probably don't want to do it for too long um, because I don't know what that would do. But I've done it for like, I think, how long have I been doing it? Like three weeks? Um, and they're really, really subtle. I only keep it on for like 30 minutes because I don't want like screaming out highlights and I think this is about as good as it's going to get because I only want it to look like natural highlights. But once again, don't keep it on for longer than that because it might damage your hair and I don't want to be held responsible for that. So um, my tip for you, only an hour if you're really, really dark. I think 15 to 25 minutes if you have really light hair already and you want to like bleach it. And that's if you have like extreme heat and darkness. Um, but yeah, try it out if you really want to save money. There you go. And if you want really subtle highlights, go with that. I heard um, it's either baking soda or baking powder. I can't really remember which one it is, but you can mix it in with the hydrogen peroxide if you want like more extreme highlights like they do in salons. But once again, if you add something to it, that's probably worse for your hair than just the hydrogen peroxide. Um, but there you go. Okay, that's all I have for you today. But I hope I just shared a little bit about why I love hydrogen peroxide and why you should go get some if you don't have some already. Um, but yeah, those are my little neat tricks that I actually use. So they work. <laughs> I'm living proof. Um, and so far I haven't had a negative effect on myself from using it. Once again, don't swallow it if you're going to put it in your mouth. Don't leave it on your entire face if you're gonna go take a bath in it basically um, for acne purposes and if you're gonna have it on your hair don't leave it on for more than an hour okay well there's my hydrogen peroxide video hope you enjoyed it i'll see you guys later bye